Oops. Oh, wait. I almost drank the wrong spot and I would have had coffee spill onto my dress. This dress is a dress I'm wearing to New York, too, so I would be sad if I had to clean it. Hey guys, and welcome to this video. I know we're in a little bit of a different setting. I am currently moving, in the moving process, so everything is kind of everywhere, so I thought I'd just set up real quick in my living room so you guys can sit with me on my couch. We'll just sit together like this. This video is going to be all about my hair and my wigs because wigs are the shit. The reason why I wear wigs is basically, well I guess for a few reasons. It kind of started out where when I started doing body, <gasps> where is my coffee? Okay, okay, sorry. Didn't know where my coffee was. Look at my coffee mug, so cute. I started wearing wigs when I started doing body painting and makeup uh, because I never wore wigs when I would do my makeup and you know there was kind of always that little piece missing. When you have the contacts and the wig and like the setting for your makeup it really helps the makeup pop and makes you really come into character. I was given a few wigs which was awesome and I was able to use those in some makeup looks and you know they were just synthetic wigs but even that they were awesome and super helpful. Uh, the first wig maker I really found was Darnell, and he is known as Hair He Goes on Instagram, and um, I was very open to the idea of wigs for a while. I kind of felt maybe weird about the whole full wig thing, but I definitely knew that I wanted a U-part wig. Uh, then I got a couple ones that were full wigs, and I fell in love, and now I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I just think that um, it's really cool to be able to change up my hair, whatever the fuck I want, and being completely fucking honest with you guys, I like wigs so much because I take a while to get ready sometimes. I know some of you feel me. You gotta feel me. If you don't, you get ready really quick, like my friend Des. She gets ready so quick and she looks flawless and beautiful and I'm like, how, how do you do that so fast? Not really. She's not a bitch. She's amazing. But, um, I, it's kind of like a compromise with my husband. I like to look pretty when we go out, you know, when you feel cute and pretty, you're just like, your day is better. It's true. Even with men or women, anyone, if you feel cute that day, chances are you're probably going to be a little more bubbly and have a little bit more of a fun day. When we go out on the town, we love to go to breakfast. I like to be dolled up. I like to have my makeup done. I like my hair done. I, feel, I like feeling cute. So he is hangry in the morning. You know, he's fucking so hungry that he's angry. I'm sure most of you guys know what that is. I get it sometimes too. And so he's always like, oh my God, Jordan, hurry the fuck up and get ready, please. He doesn't say that. He pa waits patiently, but inside, I'm sure he's saying that. So it's kind of nice, so I try to do my makeup as quick as I can, and instead of having to sit there and like curl my hair, I'm just like, oh, let me throw on a fucking wig. Good to go. Even when we go out and I don't wear makeup, which is the majority of the time, I throw on a wig and I still feel like half, half cute. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> my hair's done at least. I got that going for me. Not that I don't feel cute without makeup. Don't put that on me. Not wearing makeup's fucking fine. I'm just saying. I wear mainly human hair wigs because synthetic wigs are fine and um, but you know there is still a difference my what am I trying to say I've you I've worn synthetic wigs before and they get super tangled super easy and so I don't really know how someone wears them out on a daily basis they are still awesome and beautiful for makeup looks and maybe for a while if you maybe just keep brushing it throughout the day, I don't know. Sometimes people think wearing wigs is like super fake, super whatever. And honestly what my kind of response to that is is that I really don't fucking care. And I don't think that anyone else in the world should care what anyone else is doing if it does not pertain to them. I think if you want to wear wigs, do it. Fuck yeah. If you don't want to wear wigs, don't. Fuck yeah too. Do whatever makes you happy because only you can control how you feel about yourself and how you feel about anything. 
If you decide that they're not for you, cool, that's fine. Um, I just think that, you know, don't, if you're kind of apprehensive to wear wigs, if you think they're kind of like, oh, maybe that's too fake, maybe I'm not into that, but I really want one, just do it. Who cares? Who cares what the fuck anyone thinks? Okay, so types of wigs. I am gonna just kind of go through. I, first, little disclaimer, I am not a wig master whatsoever. I don't know all the types of wigs. I don't know everything about wigs. This is just kind of what I've learned over the months of me wearing them and kind of a little bit that I've learned from Darnell talking to him, stuff like that. First off is a lace front wig. This means that, if you can see, there is lace put in the front of the wig. With this part up here, I'm able to freely move the hair as I wish. I could change the part from a middle part to a side part, and the hair basically on the lace can kind of move which way you want. The hair on this part, if you pull it up, it's sewn in pretty much so that it can just go downwards. So with these, you can basically, they come with little hooks that you would hook into your hair. I will put one on in a few for you guys so that you can see. And um, there's two, kind of another kind, which is a silk base as well. And from what I've seen, a silk base will just look a little more natural to your actual scalp. They look a lot more like a scalp. Um, these ones, you can see the lace a little bit if you really do look close, but I found that with a little bit of concealer on the part of the hair, you can really cover it pretty well. And at least personally, I'm not trying to hide that I wear a wig. If someone's like, oh my gosh, I love your hair, I'm like, oh thanks, it's a fucking wig. I put that shit on my hair and I'm ready to go. So you can put on a wig like this in a couple of different ways. We can use a stocking cap or a wig cap or use bobby pins. So you could, I know it looks so funny, <laughs> you could easily put the wig on top of your hair like this. This is mainly how I do it or a lot of people do choose to wear a wig cap. Put this thing on. Oh god. Oh god. Why is, our, why is it so small? Is it so small or is my head so big? I feel like I'm, that's what she said. It's working. We got this. Kind of. And I look... <laughs> oh my gosh. E, I look weird without hair on. Gotta do this quick before screenshots start happening. Then I always start right here. Pull it down. Put the wig cap up there. You can then just push the little hooks in. There you go. Boom. Simple as that. This may not be on perfectly right because I don't have a mirror in front of me. I'm going off of the viewfinder. So don't judge me, monkey. This is a U-part wig. This U-part wig is super thick, which is awesome. But basically, if you can see from this side, it has hooks all around it, just like clip-in extensions do. And what you would do is you would essentially clip it underneath your hair. You'd pull a big section of your hair from the top of your hair up. And you would clip this around and then put your natural hair on top. And this just blends right into your natural hair. Take this, all of this of my hair, messily. Doesn't have to be perfect right now. So I'm just showing you a general, a general thing, and I am going to twist this shit up and just put it up for a second, uh, like so. I'm actually showing you how to, um, you know, make a unicorn horn. I hope that I shave my armpits because if I have hair showing, I'm gonna be a sad panda. Sexual harassment panda. Clip that in. Clip it in right under where you have that hair all pulled back. Take this out. And your hair that already goes on top of it will completely cover where the tracks are. 
Then we have a synthetic wig. On these kinds of synthetic wigs, you can use low heat on them. So if I did want to curl it just a little bit, I could use a very, very low heat and curl them just a little bit. Uh, with synthetic wigs and human hair wigs. So basically, with the human hair wig, um, you know, it's human hair. So it'll obviously look the most realistic. The synthetic, it's a little shiny. It's a little on the kind of shiny side. But if you do, if you put dry shampoo or some baby powder on it, it will help to take some of the shine away. But I definitely just prefer human hair. It's easier to do what I want with. It looks a little more natural. But it is also going to be a little more expensive, so. I'm addicted. They're addicting. If you have any hope to get wigs, you will be addicted because you will put them on your hair and you will suddenly be like, what have I been doing with my life? I have spent a pretty penny on these wigs because it's so worth it. I love changing my hair color and not having to damage my actual hair. So uh, now I'm going to answer a few questions for you guys. I asked for like a Q&A, kind of frequently asked questions so fucking long ago. But um, I did talk with Darnell and we decided to kind of answer them together. I will give you some of his answers to help you out and just kind of some of mine that I found. So yeah. The biggest question that was asked is how much. This totally depends on absolutely every kind of factor of the wig. Um, synthetic wigs will obviously be a little more cheaper, human hair, more expensive. It depends on the density of the wig, like how much hair you want, um, the length, what colors you want to put into it, but my advice to you guys is that it is expensive. It's an investment. It's not going to be like, you know, if you want this beautiful huge human hair wig with tons of flowing hair, it's not going to just be like a couple hundred bucks. It's going to be more on the expensive side. It is an investment, but to me, if you're looking for a wig, it's worth it because they last for who even knows how long if we fucking take care of them. Totally up to you and but, you know, it always it's just going to depend. A good question was, would I be able to wear a wig to Six Flags, or is that impossible? You guys, I do so much shit in these wigs, it's insane. They, like I showed you with my green wig, they have combs inside of them, so you can secure the shit out of that wig to your head. And it does not move, it stays right there. Sometimes it's a little bit of an adjustment, because I've had a couple questions too if, if they hurt, especially the U-part because it is so heavy and it's clipped to your hair. When I first started wearing the U-part wig, my head fucking hurt. It's true. I It's a little bit of a transition, especially for me because I was, I'm so tender-headed. I've had like short hair all my life and so tangling out my hair even sometimes and like almost in tears because I have such a tender head but when your head get used to it I mean I went to IMATS and I wore this U part every single day I was at the ho I was away from the hotel for all day and I was wearing this for like 12 hours at a time and by the end of the night I wanted it out of my hair but it was still manageable easily because you get used to it so you can easily secure these into your hair and you don't even have to worry about it. You'll be fine. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you are new to my channel or you're not and you voted for me in the next face awards, I so appreciate it you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. I know that I couldn't cuss in the video which is very different for me and hard for me but it is in the rules because, um, you know, you can't have any offensive content. And I do understand that cussing can offend some people. So, I had to wrangle that ish in. I'm sorry for all of you guys that love my cussing. I love my cussing too. But, it is what it is. C'est la vie. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.